everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video I'm going to do very vlog style. I've decided I'm going to do a face mask every day for two weeks and see how my face goes. At the moment I use face masks here and there really usually if like an event is coming up or if I really feel like my skin needs some TLC but I am pretty quite lazy when it comes to my like skincare routine but I've got so many different face masks I'm like why do I not use these so I thought let's see what the results will be if I use it every day obviously it'll be different ones each day for two weeks I'm pretty sure other people have done this kind of videos before if so I will link them down below so you can see theirs but I've decided I'm going to do mine for two weeks at the moment my skin I feel like it's kind of perfect for it like let me just zoom you in so you can see what my skin is saying so as you can see I've got like quite a few spots coming up like some that are like recovering, I've got some redness, I've got some texture. I'm also going to keep all my other skincare the same. So I'm not going to use any other additional products. So for example, if I have spots coming up, like a really bad spot, I'm not going to use my like treatment that I would usually use. So I thought to start off, I would use the Glam Glow youth mud tingle exfoliate treatment i thought this would be perfect to just get all the dead skin cells off ready for my next few weeks of face masks uh, i have used this before it does tingle slightly um it's not too harsh on my skin it does the job face mask is now on and it's already started tingling it's actually this is actually quite an intense tingle i forgot i haven't used this in so long and it's actually quite intense <laughs> so it's day two and I'm already failing at the task because I am so tired. I barely got any sleep last night. I have no idea why. I just could not sleep. But I am going to stick to it. <laughs> I'm not failing on day two. So I'm going to use the Origins Drink Up Intense Overnight Mask instead. And I have used this before. I actually really like this mask. And I am definitely going to get the full size once I um, finish this little sample. I wanted to do a sheet mask to kind of like a brightening mask but I've got a few spots like they're literally tiny you're probably going to be like really but there are like a few there and I'm pretty sure charcoal masks get rid of them right like they're proper deep clean I'm not too sure but I've got this origins clear improvement active charcoal mask 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 to clear pores so I assume that this will work I'm not too sure I haven't used this one but it's the only mask I could find that I've got that specifically targets spots, I think. Okay, so it's not irritating my skin. It's not burning, tingling, anything like that. So that's a good sign. It doesn't have a time though. It just says leave till dry. So I'm not too sure. So I'm just going to leave it till dry. So I would assume probably about 10, 15 minutes. I did not take into consideration that I am really lazy <laughs> when I was doing this it's not even a challenge I don't even know what it is it's just testing and I'm super tired and I cannot sit there with a mask on for 15 minutes and having to wash off we got another sleeping mask but it is one I've never used before and I got it in a glossy box and it is the Dr. Botanics Po P.O. Uh, pomegranate superfood regenerating sleeping mask sounds good to me I don't know why but I quite like filming this way like through the mirror <laughs> so it's on it doesn't really have much of a scent which I wasn't too sure if there would be a scent or not because obviously it's pomegranate but there is literally there was like no scent at all like it it has pretty much dried down really quickly to be fair actually it's not as sticky it was quite sticky when I first put it on but now I can't feel it. No irritation, no itchiness, no redness. Could be good, we'll see what's like. I'm gonna do a sheet mask finally. Finally doing a sheet mask, but I have no idea what this sheet mask does. It is a pumpkin 24K gold mask. I will never get over how creepy sheet mask look. <laughs> but there's loads of product in it. Ah, satisfying. Oh my God, can you actually see how terribly I made my bed like? It makes no sense because I'm gonna get into bed in like an hour or two so why do I need to make it? I've got a bit of work to do so I'm going to use a mud pack 
um, ultra deep pore cleansing mask today. Yeah, I've used this before quite a bit. As you can see, it's like proper messy. Because <laughs> I have used it a few times. Okay, change of plan. Okay, this face mask must be really, really old. Because it's literally just coming out as like liquid water. Like... Yeah, I think it's time to throw this one away. So I'm going to pick another face mask. So heads up, face masks do go out of date, you know. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to use this clearly useful resurfaces, re resurfaces? Um, retexturizing glycolic peel off mask. It clarifies and brightens. So yeah, it says it vi visibly reduces the appearance of blemishes, resurfaces skin's texture, refines pores and evens out skin tone, controls excess sebum i have no idea what that is or if i'm saying that right and provides long-term sebum again regulations mm. protects against further breakouts with continued use dermatology approved so let's hope that this one hasn't gone off <laughs> gone off eh i remember now why i stopped using this face mask see how red my face has gone and like on my forehead see there was a burning sensation but I was too busy editing and I was like, screw it, I'll just leave it on. And now my face is like, bitch, take this off. Yeah, that's not great, is it? So yeah, I remember why I uh, stopped using this. Because when I did, it burnt my face. And this now confirms. Ah, oh, it's good though, I love a peel mask. It's not that strong though, the peel, by the way. Like, it doesn't hurt at all. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. That, that was a good one. <laughs> I would advise maybe if you have sensitive skin, don't use this face mask. Because I have, I have sensitive, but not like overly sensitive. But as you can see, my face is like burning hot. On just one side, so that's great. Yeah, I'd advise sensitive skin users, don't use this face mask. Wouldn't recommend it for you. Okay, as my face got slightly burnt yesterday, I think I'm going to go for something a little bit more sensitive on the skin. I'm going to go for this Mud Therapy, it's Superdrug's own brand, Sensitive Deep Cleansing Mud Mask with the soothing and cooling properties of rose water. I have used this many times, as you can see it's filth. I don't even know if you can get this anymore. I tried looking for it and I don't think you can even get it anymore. So far, using all these masks, I have actually noticed a difference. Like, it's hard to tell with, like, spots related because it is that time of the month. So I'm kind of ignoring the spots because that's just hormonal. But I feel like my skin is looking better. It's not looking so red. And I also feel like it's looking... What? Glowy? Is that the right thing? Like, in person? I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Let me turn you around. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I can definitely tell that my skin is definitely just looking a bit more healthier okay so i've got another sleeping mask today it's from sephora i've actually had it for a while is it out of date probably but hey ho and it is apparently anti a no anti fatitude and energi energizing energizing okay this is so weird like the texture literally reminds me of jelly like this is like a little jelly pop so it doesn't really have that much of a strong scent it feels nice on the skin to be fair okay i have literally like drowned myself in this product and there's still like so much left and i don't want it to go to waste so i'm going to save it and hope it's okay clearly i couldn't be bothered to uh, make the bed as you can see so excuse that <laughs> i have really been loving doing all these face masks i have to admit i have been enjoying this i'm gonna do a detoxifying bubbling a cleansing mask with activated charcoal this is from beauty pro this is a suitable for all skin types non-drying formula it's a deep pore and blackhead cleanser refines pores and reduces oil suitable for acne pro skin you leave it on for 10 minutes and i believe it's one of those where you put it on and it starts the bubbles you know i love it a little bit of a gimmick so we shall see how that is okay does anyone have any idea what step two means because for the life of me i have no idea what that means what am i meant to do this smells really nice and it sticks really nicely to your face does that make sense like some sheet masks i feel are just way too big for your face whereas this one seems to be like sitting really nice on my face it's just a really nice size this was definitely oh i've got all in my hair <laughs> one of my favorite masks like i actually really 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 like this one okay i don't know if you're gonna be able to tell but honestly after that face mask my face like when i was washing it i'm like 
it looks just so much brighter like I feel like I've just noticed a difference you're probably not oh my god look how bad my lashes are please ignore them I'm getting them done soon the minute I washed all the like product off my face I was like oh my god like I was really impressed I don't know what it is I just feel like my face is like brighter I just noticed a difference instantly which I love so yeah I really like that one I'll definitely be trying out more stuff more masks from that range company you know what I mean okay so I don't really know if this is classed as cheating but it technically is still a mask it's just a mask for my eyes and I'm going to use the soap and glory puffy eye attack under eye brightening high gel patches nope hydrogel patches um, refreshes and rejuvenates tired puffy eyes cooling soothing and refreshing I don't know if I really have classes puffy tired eyes but I'm gonna use it anyway to be honest I have used eye masks before and I don't really know if they do anything but I just do them okay these patches actually feel really nice on the skin and they feel like they will actually stay put like I've had some before and they literally just feel like they're just dripping down my face but these actually have like a lot of product on and feel like like they're stuck and they'll be good like to go for 20 30 minutes without budging okay so as the sun's out you can actually now kind of see what my skin is looking like as we're coming near to the end now so you can see kind of what the skin is like now like I've got nothing on like I've literally just come out the shower and washed my face and can you see like that natural like glow that my skin has got like I am living for this but I've got no plans today like I'm literally doing nothing so I thought I'd use a mask that takes like 30 to 40 minutes and it's a weird one it's a rubber mask so this is what it looks like like weird huh so it's called rubber mask bright lover and it's from dr jart i got this somewhere abroad anyway it was in a sephora i believe so you put this all over your face and then i guess you put the rubber mask on you leave it and then you take it off so let's see what this looks like okay so i've put it all over my face it was like a weird jelly kind of texture and then it kind of melted into the face it smells kind of lemonish, like kind of like citrusy. Okay, it's clearly too heavy handed and I've already broke it. Great. What the hell is this? I'm gonna do a sheet mask today, I've decided. And it's the Holla, is that how you say it? Holla, Holla and Glow. Uh, veg Out Oil Control Print Sheet Mask. You can get these in Primark. Uh, this is the one I'm going to be using. So yeah, it's got, it says, let the plants do the talking with the antioxidant cocktail. I can say wild cherry extract, and I can say black mulberry extract, but I can't say gov-ever. gov, -ever. gov -ever? I have no idea what that is. Let's sort out the oil, because I'm feeling kind of oily. Well, isn't this a little bit terrifying? <laughs> this is like proper, like, looks like it's coming out my nose. <laughs> Okay, my skin is not the happiest of bunnies. Like, I don't know what is wrong, but it's just feeling really irritated and gross. So I'm going to use this uh, Pretty Animals by Look Beauty Panda Calming Sheet Mask. Contains honey extract, lavender flower water, and Camilla extract. Camellia? Camilla? It looks like this. I'm assuming that it's going to be a print of a panda. I'm going to just hope for the best, really. A defo look more like a clown than a panda. What is this? <laughs> it does have a slight scent to it. It's not overpowering in lavender, which is good because I don't actually really like the smell of lavender. But uh, so far it does feel really cooling on the face. There's so much product on this. There was still like so much product left on that uh, mask. So I've literally just put it back into the packaging and I'm going to use it a second time. Probably not the most hygienic, but I'm getting my money's worth, you know? Have you ever been so stressed? that you just pick off all your eyelashes because that is what I done. I'm getting them done in a few days so it's fine I'll just look like an egg in the meantime. It's the final day of the two weeks of face masking. As you probably know I have mentioned that I have been too tired and exhausted. So I found this Nivea One Minute Urban Detox Mask. This is purifying white clay and magnolia extract. So you literally, it's a mask, you put it on for a minute and wash it off. I mean, I thought this was perfect for someone like me that is just too lazy and can never be bothered but still wants to like 
take care of my skin. This claims to detoxify skin by reducing environmental stresses, stressors on the skin, exfoliates dead skin cells, provides extra cleansing, purifies skin, refines its appearance and supports a perfection, no, it supports a perfect complexion. So yeah, you literally put it on, leave it on for a minute and then wash it off. I have legit just woke up, so this is me just up. <laughs> Obviously it's the final week, so it's down to results day-ish. Thingy. What do I think? I feel like my skin has definitely gotten glowier, like naturally. It's become a lot more glowy and in that sense looks slightly healthier. However, I have noticed that I have been getting a lot more spots, like in areas that I never really used to, like before I would get spots like here that was my oilier section but I started getting them here I started getting spots like here and I never used to and I, the only reason I can think of is because my skin has now obviously it's been not I don't know the words overworked is it what I'm looking for like because there's so much product obviously I'm doing it every day I think it's just kind of overwhelmed and so that's been its reaction because I never really used to suffer with that and now it's like oh now I am and that's the only thing that I have changed so I think that is the reason I wouldn't use mask every day I don't think it's healthy for my skin it's just not happy with it basically I would probably go to using masks maybe two times a week instead because I do really like how naturally it's looking glowy so yeah I will definitely use my uh, face mask more but not every day because my skin is not happy with it please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below any mask that you is like your ride or die and that you are in love with because i love purchasing new masks and i shall see you next time bye